Rock deformation. Rock deformation refers to the process by which rocks undergo changes in shape, volume, or position in response to applied stress. This process is fundamental in understanding the structural behavior of Earth's crust, as it is responsible for the creation of many geological features, including folds, faults, and joints. Rock deformation occurs under various conditions and is influenced by factors such as temperature, pressure, strain rate, and the mineral composition of the rock. Types of Stress Stress is the force per unit area applied to a rock and is the primary cause of deformation. There are three main types of stress. Compression occurs when rocks are pushed together, leading to shortening and thickening of the crust. This is common in convergent plate boundaries. Tension happens when rocks are pulled apart, causing them to stretch and thin. This type of stress is often observed at divergent plate boundaries. Shear results from forces acting parallel to each other but in opposite directions, causing rocks to distort. Shear stress is common along transform boundaries. Types of rock deformation Rock deformation can be classified into three main types based on how the rock responds to stress. Elastic deformation Rocks temporarily change shape but return to their original form once the stress is removed. This occurs at low stress levels. Plastic, ductile, deformation Rocks undergo permanent deformation without fracturing typically at high temperatures and pressures, such as deep within Earth's crust. Brittle deformation, rocks break or fracture when the stress exceeds their strength. This often occurs near the surface of the Earth where temperatures and pressures are lower. Factors influencing rock deformation Several factors determine how rocks deform under stress. Temperature, higher temperatures make rocks more ductile, while lower temperatures result in brittle behavior. Pressure. Increased pressure deep within the Earth's crust tends to make rocks deform plastically rather than breaking. Rock type. Rocks with different mineral compositions have varying strengths and deformation characteristics. For example, granite tends to fracture, while limestone may fold. Strain rate. The rate at which stress is applied can affect deformation. A slow application of stress over time can result in ductile deformation, while sudden stress may cause brittle failure. Geological features from deformation Deformation results in various geological structures. Folds, curvatures in rock layers caused by compressive forces, forming structures such as anticlines and synclines. Faults, fractures along which movement has occurred, classified into normal, reverse, and strike-slip faults based on the nature of movement. Joints, Cracks in rocks where no significant movement has occurred, often a result of tensional stress. Significance of Rock Deformation Understanding rock deformation is essential for interpreting Earth's tectonic activity, reconstructing geological history, and assessing natural hazards such as earthquakes. It also provides insights into resource exploration, as deformed rocks can create traps for oil, natural gas, and minerals. In summary, rock deformation is a dynamic and complex process that shapes Earth's crust over geological time. It is a critical area of study in geology, offering valuable knowledge about the forces and conditions that mold our planet. How does rock deformation occur? Rock deformation is a process by which rocks change their shape, size, orientation, or volume in response to applied forces or stresses. This process is a crucial part of Earth's geological evolution and plays a significant role in shaping the Earth's surface and interior. Deformation occurs due to the interaction of tectonic plates, the buildup and release of stress, and changes in environmental conditions such as temperature and pressure. The result of rock deformation can be seen in the formation of geological structures such as folds, faults, and joints. 1. The Role of Stress in Rock Deformation Stress is the force per unit area exerted on a rock. The type, intensity, and duration of stress influence how rocks deform. There are three primary types of stress that cause deformation. Compressive Stress Rocks are squeezed or compressed, 
causing them to shorten and thicken. This type of stress is common at convergent plate boundaries, where tectonic plates collide, leading to the formation of mountain ranges and folded structures. Tensional stress. Rocks are pulled apart, causing them to stretch and thin. Tensional stress typically occurs at divergent plate boundaries, where tectonic plates move away from each other, resulting in features like rift valleys. Shear stress. Rocks are subjected to forces that act parallel but in opposite directions, causing them to distort. Shear stress is prominent at transform plate boundaries, where plates slide past each other, creating faults such as the San Andreas Fault. 2. Types of Rock Deformation The way rocks deform depends on the conditions under which they are subjected to stress. There are three main types of deformation. Elastic deformation. Rocks temporarily change shape or size under stress but return to their original form once the stress is removed. This behavior occurs at low stress levels and is reversible, much like stretching a rubber band. Plastic, ductile, deformation. Rocks bend or flow without breaking under higher stress and at elevated temperatures and pressures. This type of deformation is permanent and occurs deep within the Earth's crust, where rocks are subjected to intense heat and pressure. Brittle deformation. Rocks break, fracture, or shatter when the stress exceeds their strength. This type of deformation is more common near the Earth's surface, where temperatures and pressures are lower, and rocks are less ductile. 3. Factors influencing rock deformation. Several factors determine how rocks respond to stress and the type of deformation they undergo. Temperature. High temperatures make rocks more ductile, allowing them to bend and flow rather than break. Low temperatures make rocks brittle, leading to fractures and faults. Pressure. High pressure deep within the Earth's crust compresses rocks, increasing their ductility and reducing the likelihood of brittle failure. Rock composition. Different types of rocks respond differently to stress. For example, sedimentary rocks like shale are more likely to deform plastically, while igneous rocks like granite tend to fracture under stress. Strain rate. The speed at which stress is applied affects deformation. Slow, gradual stress over time often leads to ductile deformation, while sudden stress, such as during an earthquake, results in brittle deformation. 4. Mechanisms of Rock Deformation The physical and chemical processes involved in rock deformation include Folding Compressive stress causes rock layers to bend, creating structures like anticlines, arch-shaped folds, and synclines, trough-shaped folds. Faulting Brittle deformation leads to the fracturing of rocks and the movement of rock blocks along these fractures. Faults are classified into normal faults, reverse faults, and strike-slip faults based on the direction of movement. Creep and flow. In ductile deformation, rocks slowly flow or creep over time, often due to high temperatures and pressures in the deep crust or mantle. Fracturing and jointing. Tensional stress creates cracks or fractures in rocks, known as joints, where there is little or no movement. 5 where rock deformation occurs. Rock deformation primarily occurs in regions where tectonic forces are active. These regions include Plate boundaries Convergent boundaries produce compressive deformation, leading to mountain building and folding. Divergent boundaries cause tensional deformation, resulting in rift valleys and thinning of the crust. Transform boundaries are characterized by shear deformation, leading to strike-slip faults. Fault zones. Areas where significant movement has occurred along fractures, resulting in earthquakes and the displacement of rock layers. Regions of high pressure and temperature. Deep within the Earth's crust and mantle, rocks deform plastically under extreme conditions. 6. Examples of rock deformation in nature. The Himalayas. Formed due to compressive stress at the convergent boundary between the Indian and Eurasian plates. Characterized by extensive folding and thrust faulting. The East African Rift Valley. An example of tensional stress, 
where the African plate is splitting apart, creating a system of rift valleys. The San Andreas Fault A strike-slip fault caused by sheer stress along the transform boundary between the Pacific and North American plates. 7. Implications of Rock Deformation Understanding how rocks deform is crucial for various fields of study and applications, including tectonics and geodynamics. Provides insights into plate movements and the evolution of Earth's crust. Seismology. Helps predict and understand earthquakes caused by brittle deformation along faults. Natural resource exploration. Deformation can create traps for oil, natural gas, and mineral deposits. Engineering geology. Knowledge of deformation is essential for designing stable structures in areas prone to earthquakes or landslides. In conclusion, rock deformation is a dynamic process driven by the forces of plate tectonics and shaped by a variety of physical and environmental factors. It is a fundamental aspect of geology, influencing the Earth's structure and the distribution of natural resources. Types of Rock Deformation Rock deformation is a geological process that involves the physical or structural changes in rocks due to stress. It occurs over a wide range of scales, from microscopic changes in mineral grains to large-scale structural modifications of the Earth's crust. The types of rock deformation are generally categorized based on the behavior of rocks under stress. These include elastic deformation, plastic, ductile, deformation, and brittle deformation. Each type of deformation reflects a unique response to stress, influenced by factors such as temperature, pressure, rock type, and the rate at which stress is applied. 1. Elastic Deformation Elastic deformation is the temporary change in a rock's shape or size due to stress. In this type of deformation, rocks behave like elastic materials, they return to their original shape and size once the stress is removed, provided the applied stress does not exceed the rock's elastic limit. Characteristics of Elastic Deformation Reversible, rocks regain their original shape and size when stress is removed. Stress-strain relationship, the deformation follows Hooke's law, where strain is proportional to the applied stress. Occurs at low stress levels, elastic deformation happens when the stress is within the elastic limit of the rock. Examples of elastic deformation. Seismic waves temporarily deform rocks elastically as they travel through the Earth's crust. Slight adjustments in the Earth's surface due to seasonal loading or unloading, such as snow accumulation, may cause elastic deformation. However, when the applied stress exceeds the elastic limit, rocks undergo permanent deformation, either through plastic deformation or brittle failure. 2. Plastic, ductile, deformation. Plastic deformation, also referred to as ductile deformation, involves permanent changes in a rock's shape or size without fracturing. This type of deformation occurs when rocks are subjected to stress beyond their elastic limit but do not break. Instead, they bend, flow, or stretch. Plastic deformation typically occurs under conditions of high temperature and pressure, such as those found deep within the Earth's crust. Characteristics of Plastic Deformation Irreversible Rocks do not return to their original shape once the stress is removed. Occurs under high temperature and pressure, these conditions allow rocks to flow or bend rather than fracture. Slow deformation, ductile deformation is often associated with slow, long-term stress application. Viscous flow, rocks behave like a viscous fluid and may deform plastically over geological time scales. Examples of plastic deformation Folding, rock layers bend to form structures like anticlines, upward folds, and synclines, downward folds, under compressive stress. Creeping, deep-seated rocks flow plastically due to prolonged stress, as seen in ductile shear zones. Common rock types in plastic deformation. Rocks like marble and schist, which contain minerals capable of recrystallization, are more likely to deform plastically under stress. 3. Brittle Deformation Brittle deformation involves the breaking or fracturing of rocks when the applied stress exceeds their strength. 
This type of deformation is common near the Earth's surface, where temperatures and pressures are relatively low, and rocks lack the ability to flow plastically. Brittle deformation creates features such as faults, joints, and fractures. Characteristics of brittle deformation Irreversible, rocks break or fracture, and the deformation cannot be undone. Low temperature and pressure, rocks tend to fracture more easily in cooler, less pressurized environments. Sudden stress, brittle deformation often occurs when stress is applied rapidly, such as during earthquakes. Energy release, the breaking of rocks is accompanied by the release of energy, often in the form of seismic waves. Examples of brittle deformation. Faulting, when rocks break and move along a fracture plane, they create faults. Faults are classified based on the direction of movement, such as normal faults, reverse faults, and strike-slip faults. Jointing, tensional stress causes cracks or fractures in rocks, known as joints, where no significant movement occurs. Earthquakes, the sudden movement along faults due to brittle failure releases energy, resulting in earthquakes. Common rock types in brittle deformation. Igneous and crystalline rocks, such as granite, are more prone to brittle failure under stress due to their rigid and brittle nature. Comparison of plastic and brittle deformation. The transition between plastic and brittle deformation depends on several factors, including Depth At shallow depths, rocks tend to deform brittlely due to lower temperatures and pressures. At greater depths, rocks behave more ductily as temperature and pressure increase. Rock composition Quartz-rich rocks are more likely to fracture, while mica-rich rocks are more ductile. Strain rate Rapid application of stress promotes brittle deformation, while slow application allows for ductile deformation. Temperature and pressure Higher temperatures and pressures favor ductile deformation, while lower temperatures and pressures favor brittle deformation. 4. Factors influencing the type of deformation The type of deformation a rock undergoes is determined by several factors. Stress type Compressive stress favors folding, ductile deformation, while tensional stress is more likely to cause faulting, brittle deformation. Temperature Rocks subjected to high temperatures flow plastically, while low temperatures result in fracturing. Pressure, increased confining pressure reduces the likelihood of brittle failure by enhancing ductility. Rock type, different rocks have varying mechanical strengths and mineral compositions, influencing how they deform. Strain rate, slow strain rates allow rocks to adjust and deform plastically, while fast strain rates often result in brittle failure. Geological importance of rock deformation types. Understanding the types of rock deformation is critical for interpreting Earth's geological history and structural features. Mountain building, plastic deformation through folding plays a significant role in the formation of mountain ranges. Earthquake mechanics, brittle deformation along faults is the primary cause of earthquakes. Resource exploration, deformation creates traps for oil, natural gas, and mineral deposits, making it crucial for resource exploration. Hazard assessment, knowledge of deformation types helps predict areas susceptible to earthquakes, landslides, and other geological hazards. In summary, the three primary types of rock deformation, elastic, plastic, and brittle, represent different responses of rocks to stress. Each type plays a distinct role in shaping Earth's crust and contributes to the development of various geological structures. Understanding these processes allows geologists to reconstruct the history of tectonic forces and predict future geological activity.